Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. a concert stabbed to death at a DC hotel and we just learned the suspect an unhoused man will be held without bond on first degree murder charges. Bruce LaShan is live outside DC Superior Court with the new details. So Bruce, what have we learned? Uh, Leslie, there is just massive evidence in this case that sounds like a real life horror film. Police say that they all but caught the suspect, a bloody unhoused man, George Sidnor Jr., red-handed after he stabbed Christy Bautista 30 times in the chest, in the back, and in the head. Devastated family members say Christy Bautista, 31 years old, was just in town for a concert. Surveillance video shows she checked into the Ivy City Motel just before 6 p.m. on Friday. About an hour later, police say Sidnor rode a red bicycle into the parking lot and then pushed into her room. On the video, sounds of a struggle, several thuds, and a woman yelling, help, help. A man out for a smoke called 911. After seeing a woman open the front door of room 116, visibly in distress, yelling for help. Police arrive within 10 minutes, bang on the door. A man says everything is fine, but they see blood on his hands through half-open blinds. Police get a master key and find Bautista lying on the ground, covered in blood from multiple apparent stab wounds. Sidnor in the room trying to light a cigarette. Police find a Santuku-style knife, half the blade broken off. The other half inside Sidnor's black jacket. Police say there was blood on his shoes, his pants, his blue fleece vest, and that he admitted he'd got his hand chopped with a knife. The medical examiner says Bautista had been stabbed dozens of times in the spine, the lungs, and the liver, her ribs broken by the force, and she may never have had a chance to defend herself. There were no defensive wounds. Now, police say that they also found black strands of what appeared to be Batista's hair inside Noor's hands. Batista's family tonight asking for privacy, asking not to be disturbed as they deal with this devastating loss. Leslie. Yeah, you can certainly understand that, and the details are just gruesome and heinous, Bruce. It just pains me to hear. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you.
please please subscribe